Hello all, welcome to part 25 of JavaScript for beginners series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about encapsulation in JavaScript. So let's get started. What is encapsulation? Encapsulation in simple terms is a mechanism of binding the data with methods inside class, okay? Encapsulation in simple terms is a mechanism of binding the data with methods inside class. So here guys, for binding, I was using the, I'm using the plus symbol. That means you are attaching this data with the methods guys, okay? Binding means you are attaching this data with the methods inside the class. This is called as encapsulation in simple terms. But what is the purpose of the encapsulation? Why we need to bind the data with the methods? I'll explain. With the help of encapsulation or by implementing the encapsulation, we can restrict the direct access to this particular data by the unauthorized parties, okay? When you implement encapsulation, unauthorized parties, okay, the parties that don't have access to this particular data, okay, are unauthorized parties. They are not authorized to use this data, okay? Such kind of parties will not be able to directly access the data, guys, okay? So we are restricting the direct access to this data, especially to the unauthorized parties. So, but, at some point of time, guys, we have to work with the data, okay? We have to set the data, we have to retrieve the data, we have to do that. But if you restrict this kind of direct access to this particular data, how we can access this data? In that case, guys, we'll go with something known as getter and setter methods, okay? Direct access is restricted, but indirect access is not restricted, guys, okay? Hope you are getting the point. Here, we'll be creating something known as, inside this class, we are going to create setter and getter methods, okay? Using this setter and getter methods, we can access this data guys, but indirectly, not directly. Direct access is restricted now, and unauthorized parties are restricted because of this direct access is restricted. Now, if someone has to really set the data, that means uh, assign some data to this particular variables, data means variables guys in simple terms, okay? Or retrieve the data out of these variables outside the class, then we have to use setter and getter methods, guys. Setter will set the data, that is assign the data to the variables inside the class from outside the class and getter will retrieve the data from these variables to outside the class, okay? Hope you're able to understand what is what are setter and getter methods, okay? This is an indirect way of accessing the data, guys. So direct direct access is restricted, okay? Direct access is restricted and uh, with the help of uh, setter and getter, indirect access is possible and that too only for the authorized parties, the setter and getter methods will be given. Unauthorized parties uh, cannot access this data directly because direct access is restricted to this data. That is called as encapsulation, guys, and that is the purpose of the encapsulation. Now, let me practically demonstrate this for you with a JavaScript program. For that, I'll open this Visual Studio Code IDE, and here, I'll create a sample JavaScript file, say, demo.js. And here, I'll create a class, guys. The last session, the previous session, guys, I explained about the class, right? How to create the class and all those stuff. You can refer to the previous session, guys, if you are new to the class. So assuming that you already know about the class. So inside the class, we can create the variables and methods. So I'll be creating the variables inside a constructor, okay? As part of the encapsulation, I have to create these variables inside a constructor, guys, like this. Inside the constructor of this class, I'm going to create the variables. Say, I'll say let color of the car, let cost of the car, okay? So this is the first thing. Second thing is, okay? Second thing is, we have to, in order to, uh, assign some data to this particular variables or to retrieve the existing data of these variables from to outside the class. I, as I already mentioned here, we are going to use a setter and getter method, okay? First, we'll try to assign the data to these variables, guys. So we cannot access these variables directly. So I'll be creating some setter methods, okay? Set color, I'll say set color method. I'll just create a general method like set color method. And uh, here I'll say this dot color is equal to, okay? This dot color is equal to, Color, I will say, okay, where you will get, receive this color. Okay, when whoever is calling this particular method has to pass the color, guys, okay? This dot color is equal to color. Similarly, this is setter method, guys. Now, set cost, set cost. Someone has to pass the cost so that we can set this particular cost to the variable of this particular class, okay? Variable of this particular uh, class, car class is this cost, okay? So to access that, we have to say this dot cost is equal to whatever the value we have received by the setter method as an argument that we are assigning to this uh, class level cost, okay? These are the setter methods, guys. Now, to access this data, which is already assigned to these variables outside the class, we have to use getter methods, okay? Get color, I will say, get color, get color, 
and here i'll return i'll return this dot color simple okay i'll just simply returning this dot color whoever calls this particular method this method will re return the color of the car okay get cost get cost next one is get cost this will return the cost of the car return this dot cost second one okay done we have successfully created the setter and getter methods for setting the values to these variables and retrieving the values from these variables outside the class okay from outside the class we will be able to set and get the data set and get the data with the help of this setter and getter methods like simple terms okay now now what i will do is i'll first create an object guys okay i'll first create an object for this star class okay to use this getter and setter methods okay to interact with this data indirectly okay here direct access to the data is restricted now okay so indirect way of accessing the data or working with the data is using the setter and getter methods to access this getter and setter methods we have to create an object for the class then only we can access so here i will say let car1 is equal to new car okay like this you have to create an object and assign it to the object reference like car1 using the object reference okay we can indirectly access the data inside the class by saying car1 dot set color okay first i have to set case then only i can get right set color what color you want to set the red color okay then car1 dot set cost so i'll set uh, some cost like 8 lakhs to the car cost now using this methods we are able to set the data right assign the data to these variables now indirectly now i want to retrieve this data from this existing existing variables uh, uh, i want to uh, retrieve the existing data of these variables using the getter methods okay for that car1 dot get color okay color okay this will return you the color okay you see get color means this will return you the color of the car similarly car1 dot get cost this will return you the cost of the car okay cost of the car this dot cost is written so i can surround this with console dot log of uh, I, I can print out this case whatever the value that is written when i call this get color that i want to print okay so here also console dot log of like this i'll provide okay done now let me run this code so i'll just uh, clear this stuff once the path comes and after that i'll say no demo dot yes you see we have successfully set the data to the variables inside this class and at same time we were able to get the data outside the class by using the getter method fine so this is called as encapsulation in simple terms guys okay so encapsulation is a mechanism of binding the data with the methods okay here we have binded the data this particular data we have binded with this methods okay if you have to interact with this uh, data that is variables you have to use this methods there is no other way you cannot directly access this variables okay that's what is the encapsulation guys the purpose of the encapsulation is to restrict the direct access of the data to unauthorized parties if you still have to access this data you have to use get right setup methods so that's it guys see you in the next video session guys thank you Bye.